What's up guys? Today's video idea comes from a comment I got from H -Seni -Neni I can't I don't know what that says. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but uh this comment is he just simply asks, will it work PS5 120 Hz, the LG 27GL 650F and also I'm going to be testing it out on the the LG 27GL 850B. I'm also going to be testing it out on that. We are just simply taking a HDMI 2.1 cable you don't need a 2.1 cable it's just my longest cable I have and I just want to make sure this works so we're going to go straight from the PS5 to the monitor and we're going to test it all out and we're going to check out Call of Duty Cold War this video guys is for those gamers that resolution doesn't matter graphic quality doesn't matter frames per second is king and this is what we're checking out right now let's get into it caveats to getting the uh, PS5 is kind of weird and backwards and like you wouldn't expect it to be in the certain section that it is or you that you would have to do this to get it enabled in Call of Duty Cold War but uh, I'm going to guide you through it right now so I am hooked up to my 650F and we are going to head over to the PS5 screen right now what we need to do is come up here to the gear at the top here we go down to screen and video we can go to video information and we can see that right now it's set up for 4k even though the tv is only a full hd 1080p it'll take a 4k signal and rescale it back down to 1080p for you and it is locked at 60 hertz a second so we are going to fix that we are going to go down to the resolution we are going to choose 1080p it pops back up i should readjust that as well and then you'll see that it's still at 60 hertz because there is something else we have to do. So we are going to jump over to Call of Duty real quick. Okay, so boot up Call of Duty, head over to the settings, and we're going to go over to graphics. And you're going to see that 120 hertz is disabled right there. And it says to enable your TV has to support 120 hertz signal and performance mode needs to be selected in the system settings. Restart the game to have the system setting take effect. So you can't come in here and just do it from here. You have to come out here, back out, and you got to go home. So go back out to the dashboard. Go back up to gear setting and you're going to go all the way down save data in game slash app settings so in here you can change all kinds of stuff you can upload uh to the cloud and then you go to game presets you can preset your uh game difficulty uh what kind of controls you want and more importantly you can default it to performance or resolution mode instead of the game default so we want to default it to performance mode you got to come back over to Call of Duty, close this out. So close the game completely. You just press the option buttons while you're highlighting the tile. All right, come back over and boot Call of Duty up. Okay, so now you can see it is locked, but now it is enabled. We have the 120 hurt mode selected. Come down here to the bottom of the screen. You can see that the monitor itself get your little menu up on your screen it will give you a, a reading and it'll tell you if it's uh what refresh rate it's playing at we come back over here to video information and we can see we have the 1920 by 1080 at 120 hertz at a 1080p resolution you see if i turn hdr back on if it's gonna kick that out yes and you can set hdr to automatic Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the 850B and we are going to check it out. I expect it to work just like the 650F as well. So we're going to jump over to the other screen and test that out as well. Okay, so I got it all set up over onto the 850B. All right, go back over to the bar and we will check out the output setting. The output information. Down in screen video, info, and then stay in 60. I boot up Call of Duty. It just forces it to 120 hertz and then the graphics and there we go 120 hertz has been enabled it's locked to it your ray tracing is disabled we got adaptive sync hdr is off come back down to screen and video information and there we go 1920 by 1080 120 hertz on the lg 850b all right guys so that is how you set up the 
LG models, we have the full uh, HD 1080p model and the 650F, and then we have the 1440p model, which I wish Sony would uh, update the PS5 to support and then, so we can get a 1440p at 120 hertz. I think that wouldn't be a problem through uh, HDMI 2.0. Then we have the 850B running at 1080p, uh, 120 hertz so so to answer some questions from the viewers that have been getting yes they both will do 120 hertz it's just some workarounds you have to do all right guys if this helped you out please like and subscribe smash that bell icon until next time my name is davis deadly peace